Hi, everyone. Getting back from the intermission. Oh, hi, Ron. Uh, we did the Horde in seven days, and we've swapped over to Path. I don't really have the... A, the um, I don't really have the spark for, for seven days right now, I feel like. And I want to design when I'm ready to do that. So I figured we'd swap over to Path, because we haven't streamed Path in a while. Actually, wait a minute. I have some Delirious maps. Play some of these Delirious maps. Okay, not pen. Precinct, okay, whatever. Carcass, summit, yeah, that's fine. How's your day been, Ron? Ready for some action-packed Path of Exile? What type of scarabs do I have? None. This, Breach, and Harbinger, and Paper, I guess. And oh wow, I have like no yellow missions right now. Einar, I guess. Driven to the city and did a few errands, shopping a while ago. Ah, nice. Crushed together and fenced in to live out their lives like cattle. Day trips are always fun. Especially when you live just outside the city. Okay. Oh yeah, I moved. Okay, so I moved some things around since I last played, or the last time I played, I should say. Since I last actually mapped. Oh fuck. Not supposed to level the frost bomb. God damn it. Fine. Need to not level it again. Okay. Oh, it's a devourer, that's why. Red beast. Well. Ooh! Two more delirious maps, nice. I have a bunch of delirious maps. So, I managed to hit 95 now. I'm still working on the whole 96 thing. Been a bit slow. I've been making heavy use of the Tomans of Amelioration, which are, if you die, you only lose 25% of the XP you otherwise would. Uh, or, in other words, it, you, it prevents 75% experience lost. So... You uh, will lose 2.5% experience when you die, instead of losing 10%. Which is absolutely worth the 45 chaos I've been paying. Fortunately, my XP is still just straight up going down lately. Bad. Not really too sure how to counter that besides just go... Go level up. 
Like, you, like, pay for an XP service. I don't bother spending the time that it takes to get from, like, the 92 mark to uh, the 100 mark. It just... I find it's just more economic to buy it. And quite honestly, it stresses me out to uh, constantly be worrying about how much XP I have. So I've just been just basically given up on that. And either I'm, I'm leveling in an XP service or the XP doesn't matter. And I just take one of those as my option. And honestly, it's helped my mental health a lot and made me enjoy the game way more, so. Yeah. How have you been enjoying this league so far? I've been enjoying the league well. Honestly, uh, it's been it's been quite good with uh, some of the changes it's had. Um, I I enjoy this character, and I've been enjoying the play style. I'm playing, enjoying working on the path of building, but that's the part of the league I enjoy. Uh, the mechanic of the league, I have basically no interest in playing. I just don't really see a point in it. Like, it's not bad. Like, it's it's enjoyable. But, like... I don't, I don't know what, I, what I'm trying to say besides, like... The rewards do not match the time investment. Like, I can do a full map in the time that it takes to do a match and or more than a map and I can get way more money out of that like the more you play like like if you do better you obviously get better rewards but like you don't like your fifth game you win isn't more rewarding than first game you win so like I don't know, I just haven't seen a good reason to play it when, like, the rewards are more or less subpar. There's just too little to worry about it. I'd rather just go back and level, like... And I mean, the weird Path of Exile football, or whatever you want to look at it, it's definitely more like a sport than it is, like, a, uh, like, path. Um, it's cool. I have no problems with it. I just don't intend to... Oh, at least... Okay. One second. I saw the leash, leash of obligation, and for a second, I thought it was, like... I considered it might be a mage blood. And I was, like, kind of freaking out internally, but I didn't want to freak out too much because I wasn't sure. This leash of oblation. Wow, yeah, no, that's... I haven't seen one of those in a while. Surprisingly, it's worth something. But, yeah, the, the short answer is yes, I'm enjoying the league. Uh, no, I do not give a shit about the mechanic. Uh, honestly, I enjoyed Crucible a lot more in that sense. Um, I found the Crucible, the Crucible mechanic to be kind of clunky, but putting that aside, it, like, was very interesting to theorycraft, and I'm someone who likes to spend time theorycrafting. So, I definitely did enjoy that part of it. And I really wouldn't mind to just play more Crucible, but... Eh. I mean, it's just like how the Forbidden Sanctum's back now. Like, I think that's a great thing. I think it's really important for the game to have stuff like that, like other game modes to play. And I think it's a very interesting take on the on the game. I'm not going to play it. Maybe I'll play it once in a blue moon. But I'm enjoying the fact that it's part of the game. Like, I think it's a good choice to have. I just don't enjoy it personally.
I do enjoy that every time uh, a Forbidden Tome for the uh, Forbidden Sanctum drops that it's worth like 10 chaos or 15 chaos. That's pretty nice. And I mean, I've been enjoying selling, selling the silver coins that you use to start the league mechanic this week. <laughs> nice to pick up more shit to sell. But like, besides that, I don't, like, eh. Haven't been like, really playing a lot of the mechanic. Actually, I haven't played the mechanic in like... Last time I played the league mechanic. Maybe like three weeks? I don't know, like, there's just, I just don't, I don't know. Like, it's a huge time investment, each match, and I feel like if you want to make that sort of time investment, like, in, like, the upper levels, like, in the upper, like, uh, area levels, like, if you're doing, like, a level 83 area, so, like, a tier 16, um, that should be worth a lot more money than it is from what I've seen. Um, for me, like, if I wanted to, like, like, to actually, like, draw me in. Because, as is, I can make money more efficiently doing several other things. So, if it can't hold its own, then it kind of doesn't matter that it's there. To me. And I mean, you can, like, it's kind of a gamble when you play it, because, like, later on in that, like, tournament to, like, set of games, you can get better stuff. But... I mean, you can get better stuff. It doesn't mean you're going to. It doesn't mean that, like, you'll get more than 10 chaos throughout the entire tournament. And I can't be having that low of a return from from what I'm doing. Like, if I could bring home, like, a reliable, maybe, like, five chaos per match, at least, I would be fine with it, because, like, that's what I can reliably bring back from most maps. More. But, as it is, like, a map reward might be worth half a chaos sometimes. And, like, sometimes they're, like, the obscenely expensive ones, but, like, the average winnings is really low from what I've seen. Am I crazy, or have I killed the boss at some point? Like, I genuinely don't remember seeing the boss, and I'm, I'm trying to find it. Four monsters remain. Ah. Uh. I mean, there's four bosses. Would that be it? Or is there something else somewhere else going on? Wait. Is this the boss arena? Oh, there's an exile right there. Next exile there, yep, this is the boss area. Okay. So that map's done. Oh, this is weird. A beard, white map, white tier, 20% delirious. Uh... Okay, I'm not going to put anything on that, but I will do it just for the Delirium. I'm not going to put any, like, Scarabs with it or anything, seeing as it's almost no money. Hey. Job never ends. Ooh, a physical damage gem, nice. That later. Oh, 
Okay. That other map quick. This mirror, I can't really do anything with it, so. It'll just take a Nico mission so I can run faster with my uh lactic gift thingy. Act with energy. That's what it's called. I'll just do a fast map here. I mean, it has no quality on it, so it's not really going to be amazing, but like, I mean, it's a delirious map, so it's still kind of worth doing. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it for very long, but I'm gonna do it. Too bad it's mirrored and I can't edit it. Anyway. Nice. Full River has some, like, kind of juicy areas for enemies, so this isn't too bad. Plus, it does actually have quality on it, which does give it some, some pack size, which is good. Uh, nothing. Oh. A ritual. Okay. Don't think map quality has anything to do with your rewards for a ritual. Besides, like, how many things you fight in the area. So, actually, I am... Do this. Should work in my favor. Okay. Oh, I'm right here. Brought my mines out. I really like the Firestorm mines, they're quite fun. And I have a plus four chest plate, a like plus four gem to my uh, Firestorm. So, it's pretty nice, and I just got a level 21 Anomalous Firestorm today. Level 21-20 Anomalous Firestorm, so I have a 25-20. Uh, I, I corrupted the 2020 to a 2120, and this gem is worth 10 div, which is the same value as my entire bank. So, that was really lucky, because I wasn't going to have that for a while. But I absolutely will nom 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 all that, that delicious value. Oh, hi Omni. Hi Omni. I definitely had way more quant in that last map, and I got nine splinters from Omni in that last map. And nine in here. <laughs> That's weird. Oh! Oh, I think I got a multi uh, strong box map. Because that's the fourth strong box I've opened. I think you either have one, two, three, or eight strong boxes. Your option. Or not strong boxes, uh, smugglers' caches. Hi Lunaris, hi Solaris, goodbye. There's Solaris, and it's cool. Now I'll do the ritual with them. God, ritual is such a weird league. Because, like, whatever you kill, 
uh, in like that circle comes back when you start the ritual. And whatever you kill in your next ritual gets both what you killed in this one and the next one. So it actually was advantageous to run to the, bo the boss room past everything, kill the boss in the circle, then backtrack. Which is a weird gameplay loop to incentivize, I feel like. I mean, well, whatever. They're, they're the game design company. Maybe they know something I don't, but... Ooh, a Geomancer. Incubated six-link armor. Okay, that's not... What? Oh, what? That's not one chaos. What? Maybe one chaos. That doesn't feel right. Where the heck is the last jewel? I'm very lost. Again. Why do I get lost in every game I play? Oh, it's the right. That's what I'm missing. And here's a sulfite too. And more smokers caches. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. We're so fight. Okay, well, whatever. I'll just do the ritual. I don't really need the power buff anyways. It is only a tier 3. My power gaming mind's just like, what must do most efficiently? Ah, oh, it's nice to play some chill path. It occurs to me that it probably doesn't look very chill on screen. <laughs> but this level of challenge doesn't really bother me, seeing as it's low tier. So I kind of know I'm not going to die. Wait, did I kill- yes, I did kill the boss. God, I'm going crazy. Yeah, so I bought 3,400 tokens back from that map. That means I made a little over... I need about- made about 10 or 11 chaos just on that. Plus a chaos. Plus five incubators. Plus a blueprint. Like... I can't even begin to to <laughs> I can't even begin to make the uh, league mechanic worth that much money, and that's not even much money. Oh, there's a little thing. Oh, there's a little thing in the in the right hand bottom right hand corner now. If you have an incubator on something, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that makes it so much easier. I don't have to check every single fucking thing to see whether it has an incubator or not. I really appreciate that they're starting to put, like, quality of life things in. And not just, like, work on Path of XL 2. Only if only they would make an auction house. They never will. I really wish they would, rather than torturing their player base.
Okay, and now we have some quants. Ninety-six quant. Okay, that's good. Be nice. Oh, this one's also incubator since. Oh, of course this would be incubator because the last one was a mirrored map mirrored off of this one, so it's the same map. Yum. Yeah, I've already made more in this map than I can reliably make from the league mechanic in a match, and this is n the time is incomparable between those two. Which is just kind of sad, honestly. Because I think, like, weird football, hockey, soccer, whatever game is kind of cool. Like, it's really kind of cool thematically, honestly. Like, um, you're basically in Valhalla with, with, like, all the major, like, generals and warlords that have ever lived with their own factions all, like, trying to, like, fight for sport. Because this is, like, their promised afterlife. Like, that is a, that's a really cool concept, and, like, being able to see, like, King Comb again after murdering him in the uh, story. And, like, be able to t actually have a conversation with him, because, like, you never actually get to speak to him before that point. Or, like... I think even, like, Tukahama's there and, like, like the gods. That, it's, it's a pretty cool mechanic idea. He's thematically. Still doesn't make me want to play rugby or whatever, but... Not really into Path of Rugby. I think my interest actually started dying in the mechanic when I realized that there's no that like stun like stun resistant or stun immune builds had no benefit in the mechanic like when doing stuff, despite the fact that like like the main well like one of the main issues in it is that you can get stunned, like like stun immunity like making a character for the mechanic itself would be amazing like that's a great great thing that would be really fun to do. Uh, I can't make a character for it. Like, there's probably something somewhere I could do Time that would go. make it nice or make it easier, but like I don't know, I, I feel like being able to go for like stun immune characters would be Oh my god, there's a lot of things going on here. I feel like being able to like, re like pick a stun immune character and like really uh, like, gear yourself towards the particular mechanic. I think that's, like, a really fun way to do things. But, and, like, I even was considering picking, like, like, changing, like, five of my skill points over to another node just because, like, that would have given me the, uh, the stun resistance that I was looking for. But... I mean, that kind of just proved useless. Just makes me kind of sad, because, like, you could totally make a character that is completely stun immune and doesn't die, but doesn't deal damage. And, like, that would totally have been cool. I'm, like, constantly trying to find a way, like, a way or a game mode where I can, like, advantageously farm with a zero DPS character. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, especially if you could aura bot like for your team and just like follow them around and make them like super strong. Like that would be cool.
I definitely do wish they would like do more to encourage other types of gameplay than just um what I'm trying to say. I wish they would encourage more build types. Just like make something interesting about playing like an aura bot or like 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 help make more characters that can work with other characters better like they're always talking about like oh we can't have an auction house because we want player interaction well give players a reason to interact like if everyone's playing like the same set of builds they probably have the best aura they have so like if you play with another dps character like with their one maybe two auras you either have them or you don't benefit from them most of the time I don't know, I'm always looking to like find a way to play like the the porty uh like hard to kill characters. Those are always fun in like all games. I like way back when when I actually was masochistic enough to consider playing League of Legends. Uh I used to play like Sonya who oh, was like, there you are. Healing. Time to go. It was really fun. It would be fun to play that game in a way that doesn't make me feel like humanity should be snuffed out. So I totally realized something, a, like, a little bit earlier during our break. I never actually put out any, like, messages or notices that I usually would to be like, Hey, I'm streaming! So, like, I never actually told anyone. <laughs> I just streamed at the normal time, because, like, I was, like, rushing around trying to, like, get a video out. And I did not fucking remember to send out messages like I usually would. Like, I try to send it out a few hours in advance, but like, nope, didn't happen. So it's kind of a scuffed stream that scuffed in that sense, but whatever. Happy for those of you who know I'm here. Why just my schedule? <laughs> yeah. Or random, I don't know. Randomly wandered in. That's good too. Hello to anyone who's randomly wandered. Man, there's so many more things in this map than the last one. Really shows how much pack size matters. I really do love like my cast speed with this. Oh, there you are. Ready to revisit the past? Because I can you basically change my map. Oh my gosh, Shoshalva. Because you can basically cast as fast as you can throw your mines. Which I believe means that I cast faster in this build. Oh god. Ow. As I was saying. 
means we cast faster in this build than we did in the last one. Not sure if that really matters though, because like I can't get on hit effects seeing as I'm mind build. Where's my portal? I don't remember dropping a portal. I have the I'm at the start. Oh. I'm happy that that incursion was not a important or useful incursion. Literally just to connect a room together. And I can do that other times. Yes! Player maximum resistance. Oh, okay. Give me corruption. Nope. Not gonna look in there. You can cast stuff at the doorway if you want, but not at me. There you go. Oh no. I hate when like you walk into a room and it's just like, well, I'm going to die. There's too much stuff here. Oh no. They always cast through the door and just like absolutely destroy you. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh, oh, oh I barely got out of that. <laughs> Just sound of water running from whatever song that was at the end. That was weird. Okay, I'm pretty sure I still haven't killed the boss here. Feel free to remind me if you remember. My memory ain't so good these days. Where are you? To do more voice slash impressions during a stream. Wait. I do voices? I'm not I'm not even conscious of that. Uh I don't know what I've been doing then. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, do, do you just mean my, like, oh, you old, your little whippersnappers kind of, like, old person voice? Now I want to know what I did. There we are. I, like, kill the bosses while they're, like, touched? Is that a thing? Uh, well, I did it. I don't know if that did anything. Uh, <laughs> well, 
you are going to be happy if you subscribe to my Patreon, which I'm almost done making, then, because I am going to be doing some voice acting of some dating sims. And I've already recorded some of it, and it is great. My only problem is that I haven't actually, like... I guess I, I haven't, like, written a description or published the page, technically. So, like, it's not really in existence in that sense. Um, and I haven't uploaded stuff yet. Let's see. What is there... What's stopping me from publishing this? Oh, that I just haven't described it in any way. Okay. Oh, it needs to be reviewed first. Oh, okay, well that'll be up in a little bit then. Days, probably. The actual dating sim content, I don't know. I have to edit that. And I've been too busy editing stuff for the channel to, like, edit stuff for the Patreon yet, but... That is my next intention. Oh, I got currency from the start. Nice. Oh my gosh, Sim simulacrum splinters. What? Why so many? Yeah, I did like two hours of voice acting with a special guest yesterday. And it turned out very differently than I expected. And honestly, I would not replace it for anything that I could else otherwise make. It was it turned out really good. So I look forward to putting that up on the Patreon. Unfortunately though, it can't go on YouTube or Twitch. For reasons that you'll understand when you see it. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> In any case, my Patreon will be up soon. I intend to be putting out... I don't really have a frequency yet, but I intend to be putting out exclusive content for it, like, semi-regularly, as well as, like, on the channel as normal. You'll be able to see everything uh, when I finish making it, rather than when... Uh, it whether you'll be able to see things a little bit early. So like, if I make something a week early, you'll get to see it a week early. It'll always be uploaded on Patreon first, and then on the YouTube channel. Is the idea. Get exclusive content. Well. Like the stuff I've been voice acting. And also weird behind the scenes stuff. I got a request from my chat mod actually to make a. Uh, uh, to make like a really sped up version of my last video. The, uh, uh, the, the bestiary video. But like. Like, uncut, but all of the voice is sped up, 
and everything, so it's like Super Chipmunk fighting extremely fast animals. Which I thought would be just stupid, but it's actually really funny for some reason. So I put that up on the Patreon because why not? Plus all the work that I've been doing off camera on the house in Seven Days to Die, like on the fortress, I intend to put up that stuff too because I do actually record what I'm doing in case something interesting happens. So that stuff will go up as well, even though it's just like building and stuff, but I mean, building's fun. So, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, making exclusive content for Patreon, and uploading on YouTube five times a week. That's the plan. Oh my gosh, where the heck are you going, Abyss? Hey, double back on me! Rude. What's back here? In the meantime, there's just like really, really chill music suddenly. Just like, oh, you're, you're relaxing under a waterfall. There isn't things trying to cut off your head with scythes. The scythes have no power here. Oh, this is a bad spot for a ritual. Uh. I have a, I have a shitty spot. Okay. Like in a corner. Okay, so I'm coming to the boss room. If I can get to levels, to like reward tier seven. That would be nice before I get to the boss. Because I have the uh, um, killing the boss as like a level to del the delirium ward reward tier thing, so. If I can get to level 7, then I'll be able to guarantee level 8 with the boss. No. Out of stuff. Buff. Oh, no, no. There's something right in the door. Good. Portal, in case I get myself murdered. I'm gonna give it like a second to spawn things. Like, no, give me, give me more stuff. I need more progress. Stuff. Yeah, spawn more stuff.
there a point when these portals stop spawning stuff? I've never, like, tested that. I've never tried to not kill them before. This is a bit weird. Oh, it's still spawning stuff. Gotta carefully do this slightly away from the portal so it doesn't up. I think this is actually working. That's really silly. Eh! No, the portal's on fire! I didn't mean to do that! Ah, whatever. This is taking way too long. Funny, but it's taking way too long. Uh, where's the boss? Yeah, like, ser like seriously, where's the boss? I saw it for a second. Oh. oh, there it is. Okay, can I like? No, I need like just a tiny, tiny bit more. Uh, wait, hold on a second. There's an essence right here. Let's go to the essence. Whoa, lots of things happening. Oh, I kill these things. Come on, give me give me tier seven. Come on. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. Whatever. I tried. Oh, actually. Wait, no, I'll get to, I think I'll actually get to tier eight now if I do this. Or wait, if it spawns the boss again, do I get, can I get progress again? Can I like kill it for like another reward tier? I don't know if I can. Is that it right there? Yes, that's it. No, didn't work. Ah. I tried. Uh, none of this stuff is good. I'll just take all that. Get to reward tier 8, though. That's the important thing. Activity. I feel like this is going to be worth anything. Yeah, I don't think it's worth anything. God Slayer. Got my eye on you. Okay. So we've been going for about two hours. I think I'm gonna call it here. I've been uh, doing, I've been making content since uh, uh, for like the past five hours now. So <laughs> making and editing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here a little bit early. Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna call it a bit early. My brain is so shot. Like I was like trying to come up with basic speech. <laughs> uh thank you all for coming today though those of you that managed to do so without me like notifying anyone 
So, to everyone who's here and has been here, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you coming, it's always nice to see. Uh, if you like the channel, remember to follow it, I'd really appreciate that. And well, you'll get cool content, so totally worth it. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. And, we have a video that's coming out right now. Let me just grab the link. And here it is. Video just came out five seconds ago. A little bit longer than usual. Did a uh, run with Gennaro in uh, Vampire Survivors. That was fun. He's a cool character. He killed the Reapers. We'll see how we did it. Or I did it with him, I guess. <laughs> okay, good night, everyone.